What skill level are you? Highest skill cap? Shaco, Zed, Rengar, Lee Sin, Nidalee? I'd put Karthus lower. I don't know why you have Hecarim and Karthus on different tiers. <laughs> Wait! Why are you dissing Karas, my? Why are you dissing Karas, my? I'm gonna be honest. I would put Fiddlesticks higher. I'd put Kane a little higher. I'm not sure why you put Trundle at a higher skill than Rek'Sai. I don't think Kha'Zix should be that high, though, honestly. And maybe if you're doing, like, full Assassin, whatever, yeah, sure. But if you're just going, like, the fucking W max, I feel like that's kind of easy to execute, honestly. Kha'Zix is all about movements and prediction. Yeah, but I feel like that isn't a skill that's... How do I explain it to you? I feel like that's just like a general mechanic to have. Like it's not something that's uh that's limited to like Karthus. Gragas and Yer are not the same. Uh disagree. I'm gonna be honest, I disagree with you on that. Yi isn't like an insanely hard to play champion, but at the same time, he's also not the easiest, right? Like the reason why people don't put time into Yi is because he has champion specific mechanics that they just can't bother to learn. You also need to be, like, pretty mechanical on the champions to make it work in, like, higher elos, and most people just don't feel like investing 50 games to learn it. Same thing with Rengar. Of course, the enemy, the enemy ADC goes exhaust, and the enemy support goes... Or ADC goes cleanse, support goes exhaust. As per always. Oh my god, should we have actually stayed? Wait, what? Why are they checking that The uh, There it goes, thing. I don't know which one of them is ghosting, but one of them is. Kane is easier, to be honest. <sighs> I disagree. Just because Kane... Listen, let me tell you the thing about Kane. Kane is a champion who has a lot of mechanics that make him easy to, like, make mistakes and get away with those mistakes with. But at the same time, impacting the game, especially as blue Kane, you need to know what you're doing. Or did I put Lily on that tier list? I'd probably put Lilia in uh, medium to hard. Okay, well, the good news is Nunu's going upwards, so we don't have to worry about him at all. Wait, he's level 3 ganking bot. Isn't it crazy that Nunu mains never adapted? Right? Like, legitimately made a patch that pretty much said, yeah, you guys can't just, like, level 3 gank bot anymore. And win the game for it. And then it's like, Nunu mains are like, oh, really? And like, they're still doing it. And I don't know why. Yo, don't die to this, bro. I'm gonna run up and secure top crab. If he actually goes to clear bar crab, this guy's fucking trolling. Because I just take his blue then right after. Thank God for that. <laughs> I don't know why that guy egoed his reset there. I really don't. And look, Nunu's ganking bot again. Dude. I I'm sure Tarzan feels like the same frustration and anger that I feel when you see a Nunu player on the enemy team. Because, like, the problem with them is that it's not anything against them as people. I'm sure they're fine as people. But it's like, as players, they're so cringe. Like, they never adapt, they never change their game plan. They're just the same carbon copy paste, same shit every game. Nothing ever changes for them. Three camp, gank bot, gank bot, gank bot, dive bot, three camp, dive bot, gank bot. And it's just like, bro, at one point, can you fucking actually learn how to play the game? Instead of doing the same, like, cheese bullshit strategy every game that you pray works, and then if it doesn't work, you just lose. Like, it's insanely just, like, like frustrating. I don't know. Like, this guy genuinely got his entire top side portion completely taken. But the worst part is it's not even going to impact him as a champion. Because Nunu is by definition elo inflated. Because the champion doesn't actually require you. Listen to me. It doesn't actually require you to get ahead to impact the game. All you have to do is just do your same bullshit. And you engage with W. And you will always be relevant whether you're 10-0 or 0-10. It's, it's disturbing. Nunus are not rewarded for playing the game properly at all. They really aren't. And it's sad. It's like sad. Is that not Nunu's champion identity though? No, because the problem is in the past, 
Nunu's champion identity was spam ganking, okay? So he would be a champion who, you might see him folklore some games, but he would gank a lot, okay? But ganking isn't all he'd do. Nowadays, he just sticks to his bot side three camps, and he just ganks all game. He doesn't actually have to be a jungler. He just ganks. And it's like, fuck, bro. Like, how cringe is that? And I mean, at least the good thing is that now, since I'm a good jungler, right? I can play in a way where I fuck up a Nunu. You see what I mean? Because now I'm double his CS, I'm gonna secure a dragon, he's 10 camps down. Right? But it's like, to play versus Nunu, you have to be like... The problem with playing versus Nunu is that it's not about how good of a jungler you are, it's about how good or bad your bot lane is. That, that's, like, that's like my main issue with the champion, honestly. It's not about how good or bad you are as a player. It just, is your bot gonna end to the obvious Nunu ganks? Or are they gonna live through the obvious Nunu ganks? Right? Thank fucking god I live there. It's cause like, my problem with Nunu is the same problem I've always had with Karthus. When I say they're like genuinely a little inflated. Because these champions, whether or not they play the game properly or not, they will always have similar levels of impact. Which is re- oh. It is disgusting! Like, if I'm Hecarim and I'm 0-10, I'm not doing anything. If I'm Hecarim and I'm 10-0, I'm 1v9. If I'm Nunu or Karthus and I'm 0-10 or 10-0, I'm same impact! Is that not abnormal? Come on! Look, imagine this. I'm about to have a 3-level lead on Nunu at 9 minutes, chat. And he has 1 death. I'm about to have a 3-level lead at 9 minutes. Because of how he decides to play the game. But the cancerously disgusting thing is the fact that even though that's the case, he will still be relevant. And he will still be impactful. Even though I'm, like, flame horizoning. I don't know, I, I just hate that champion so much. Yep. There we go. But, thank God that I'm the kind of player where I can still fuck him up. But you guys want to know what the other thing I hate about seeing Nunu is? That every single Nunu plays the exact same. Every single one. Graves, they play differently. Kane, they play differently. Even Evelyn, they play differently. But every Nunu, you, you could literally in Hilo play against Nunus with nameplates off every game. And you would never know who Nunu it was after playing versus like 50 games. Because that champion has no like player identity. It's just spam gank and spam gank and engage with snowball. Wow, cool. That's crazy. Is that Nunu autofield? Nope. No, he's in Nunu one check. He's one check the champion for years. And he is still challenger. Dude, that's the most annoying thing. Every Nunu player can hit challenger doing the same copy paste playstyle every game. And the worst part is, listen, if Hecarim's in a state where he can full clear and 1v9 by full clearing, right? That's one thing, because at least your mechanics on the champion can dictate whether you're Masters or Challenger. But for Nunu, it's like, bro, what's the skill expression on your champion? Snowballing in, like, I'm about to have my completed jungle item at 12 minutes! At, guys, at 12 minutes, I am 11 CS per minute right now versus Nunu. And the crazy thing is, it's not like I was stealing laner's waves either. Oh. Oh, wow. I got bombed by the double summoner spell of Gragas. But I mean, the good news is now he has no sums. If they don't take Dragon right now, then we can take that on spawn. I think Nunu is one of the hardest champions to jungle with. Well, I mean, you probably also think it's really hard to put your helmet on in the morning when you're walking to school. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> sorry, in-game. Like, I don't know what to tell you then. Seriously. I just seen Cho'Gath to land anything and then ult. But it's like he did neither of those two. Nice. Bomba. Well, listen, the good news about this game is that the enemy team doesn't have a way of dealing with Darius. And when I get fed, hey, they don't have a way of dealing with me either.
low key. Nice. This game, um, I think I'm gonna go Dustblade. I don't feel like I need Eclipse. The only time I was gonna build armor anyways is Nunu. And he's not high priority enough of a target for me to build exclusively for him. If I get Gragor's shutdown, it's actually a card win. Oh, well, you just sent it. Thank God for that. I mean, it sucks that I'm not the one that got the shutdown, but the good news is that we trade similar amounts of gold. We're gonna get mid tower plus top inner tower. That's fucking huge for us, actually. Really bad trade for the enemy. They got two kills and an inner, but we got two turrets plus a huge shutdown. Do you remember the item that used to give you benefits after stealing enemy camps? Yes. It was called Poacher's Knife, I'm pretty sure. And pretty much it was a 750 gold item. And after you counter jungle, I think it was five of the enemy jungle camps, you transform into Serrated Dirk for free. Can we kill Gragas? I mean, if I just back off, we secure Dragon. You guys wanna know what's fucking crazy? The enemy team has a uh, 7 and 3 Lucian, right? A 7 and 3 Lucian. But you know who their actual brig their biggest, highest priority threat is? The Gragas. Is that normal? The enemy Gragas is their highest priority threat because he's the guy who's going to do the most damage. Even though they have a 7 and 3 Lucian that has a Yumi. Can you imagine that? Gragas is the one doing the most damage. His ratios, his equal down is just too fucking low. Got the fuck out of his ECD. Got it. I want to see a 20 second cooldown on that. Level 5, a 20 second cooldown. Also, I'm just gonna say it. Why the fuck do people still walk in misfortune? I swear that is the one ADC who when I see it on my team, I'm like, ah, we lost. And when I see it on the enemy team, I think, oh, we won. Genuinely just one of the most useless champs in the game. No way they're gonna do Baron here, right? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh nice, he's just a million MS. He's just a million MS! Cause why not? Just why not? Why doesn't Yumi give a hundred armor MR on a fucking champion the second she presses R? Why not? That's why, it's cause why not? Just kill them all now. Kill them all now. You know, unironically, that's fine though. Says you, Joshua, you fucking piece of shit, motherfucker. Hecarim's champion identity is being fast. Nunu's champion identity is being cancer. Hecarim's entire champion identity is I go fast and I one v nine. What's Nunu's? Oh. I give cancer. Like, unironically, if you think about yourself, what is Nunu's champion identity? It's giving cancer. This is his identity. Giving cancer. Legitimately. Same with Gragas. What's Gragas' champion identity? Giving cancer, having zero counterplay, and one-shotting everyone. That sounds just like Hecarim, though. And your mother's a s- In-game. Guys, have I told you it's time to 1v9? I keep Q-Sacks off Baron and then I just one-shot their entire team. <sighs> Wait, why is our Darius bot? Well, I actually just realized that. Also, why did our Mumu die without using ult? The problem with this game is that Lucian gets randomly 70 armor for no reason. Because he has a Yumi on him. Because why I thought that would be a good idea. 
I have two Q stacks. Oh, that was a fucking. Oh! That was a fucking massive ult. Mega flank. <sighs> I didn't realize that Lucian, Yumi would be flanking. Nice. Ooh, ooh. Come on! Okay, I'm respawning. It's fine though. Just take, bro. Just take. Where's my team? Okay, I mean, I did what I needed to do there. Like, I literally just fucking one v 9 Oh, no. Oh, yes! Good. Guys, if I told you this build is actually feeling kind of chill again. I think I found the Hecarim build that's going to actually bring me to the god... The god Elo E. No, Amumu. Oh my god, this fucking Amumu dude. Up 8,000 gold on Nunu, but he's still relevant because he locked in Nunu. Crazy how that works. Wait, is Zaris 1v9? I mean, if Lucian's dead. Uh, I pop my ghost just to get there faster, I don't care. Keep Q sacks. That's a 20k smite for no reason. Perfect, we still win the game now. Really? We can't end here. Oh, that works. Whoo! Not bad. Not bad. So what I told you guys, being up 8,000 fucking gold on the uh, Nunu with perfect CS actually ended up paying off for us but we actually almost lost that game imagine that i'm up 8,000 gold i'm 12 cs per minute top damage and we almost lose that game because he's, he locked in nunu it's so fucking fucking cringe it's so fucking fucking cringe it's like i can't even say it's so fucking cringe i need to say fucking twice because of how cringe it is